His name was Robert Paulson. His name was Robert Paulson. His name was Robert Paulson. See, with Project Mayhem, in death, we have a name. And his name was Robert Paulson. What's going on, y'all? It's crazy here. I got another reaction. And um, obviously, you can see, if you can read this, Meatloaf, Paradise by the Dashboard Light. So many memories that I've had with this song. I love this song. I've been playing this. I've listened to this a billion times, whether it be on the radio or on YouTube music or singing at a karaoke with my ex-wife. Um, <clears throat> Meatloaf has actually been a... Uh, a thing for me. Uh, my stepdad was into Meatloaf. He actually introduced me to Meatloaf with Bad Out of Hell, and then I found out that he was also acting when I saw him in Fight Club and that movie he did where he was in The Lizard, and then I was introduced to the Rocky Horror Picture Show, and that blew my mind that he had an appearance in that, because that was at the highlight of his career, I believe. And then also seeing him in The Pick of Destiny, and these are the only movies that I've seen. Um, the movie where he portrayed the character, the lizard, I can't remember the name of the movie title. So somebody in the, uh, somebody in the comments section, please let me know what that is. So that way I can, uh, you know, so that way I can watch it on Amazon prime or something. Hell, I'll probably even just buy the fucking movie on Blu-ray. Um, one of the few movies that I'd rather have actually a physical copy of, but nevertheless, though, you know, uh, we recently lost Mr. Loaf, um, uh, <clears throat> and it's unfortunate because like, you, you know, like you, you see a lot of these celebrities that have passed away recently with him, Betty White, Bob Saget, um, even a couple of people that I know from the underground music scene uh, that have recently passed away. And it's like, you don't really expect this coming, but it also starts to help you un understand a little bit more about mortality. Uh, but nevertheless, though, I want to watch this because I didn't even know that there was a music video for Paradise. Uh, so <clears throat> I get the feeling that with uh, the time frame that uh, Paradise came out, you know, it's probably going to be like a rather piss poor music video, but you know, like in, in the sense that it's not cinematic or anything like that. Because um, cinematic music videos really didn't uh, come out until like maybe the mid to late 90s. Uh, for the most part, it was kind of like just somebody standing in front of a green screen with a bunch of flashy bullshit. Um, the first one that comes to mind is Dead or Alive, You Spin Me Round, but uh, that that's uh, beside the point, which obviously I've already seen because I'm telling you about it. But nevertheless, we're going to get, you know, this ain't about that. This is about the lizard, Mr. Loaf, Robert Paulson, Bob. Bob had bitch tits. Bob back then still also had bitch tits. Look at him in that suit. Well, I remember that little thing as if it happened only yesterday. It's almost like he knows that there's a camera on him. <laughs> What's with the head, and Bob? See, look. And all the kids at school, they were wasting what the? They were me that night. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, meatloaf? <laughs> the object, uh, the objectivity of a camera shot is to act like you don't know the camera's there. You're breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> but nevertheless, <laughs> now one thing I do have to say I really love about meatloaf's writing is, it, like, his songs are an entire story, and that's what makes it entertaining for me. And that also explains why Bad Out of Hell only had like seven, six or seven songs. Because they're all like this. And now our bodies are so close and tight. It never felt so good, it never felt so right. Meatloaf could have totally gotten that shit. I don't know if he actually did or not. It's like, dude, you're singing a you're singing a song about your first sexual encounter, and you're like trying to look as creepily coked out as possible on camera and on stage. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> I 
I can't sing like her. They're fucking in a car. Spoiler alert. I wonder what movie they went to go see. <laughs> what was the look on Milo's face? Hold on, let me rewind this. <laughs> look at him. Eddie! <laughs> Whatever happened to Saturday night? <laughs> That's what it looks like. Uh, all he needs is a scar on his head and a fucking leather vest with love and hate tattooed on his knuckles right there. <laughs> <laughs> Cocaine may have been a factor. Yeah, I do that too. When I'm singing karaoke, I go, fun. It sounds so much better than just waiting so long for you to come along and have some fun. It sounds fun. That sounds so much better. Like, kudos to him on that one. Come along and have some fun. Yeah. Well, it's you sexy. Know, you never gonna regret it. So open up your eyes. I got a big surprise. It'll feel all right. Well, I wanna make you more. I love that innuendo. However, when I sing karaoke uh, for the song, I don't um, I don't say so open up your eyes. I say so open up my pants. Yeah, I know it's a little rather blunt, but when when your patrons are expecting you to say so open up your eyes and then say so open up my pants instead, it is a huge shock factor. And it's it makes so many fucking people laugh. And now the bodies are oh so close and tight. You never felt so good, you never felt so right. And we're glowing like the metal on the edge of a knife. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, dude, no means no. <laughs> yeah, that's very aggressive. Hold on tight. Like, everything Meatloaf is doing in this music video would not translate very well if this video came out today. Because, like, sure, like, maybe in the 70s, the way that he's reciprocating with her and the way that his body language is going, that might have been sexy in the late 70s, but now he just looks like a fat creeper. All he needs is a fucking trench coat and a van. Like, in the background, there's, a like, a creepy fucking van that has free candy spray-painted on it. And I'm not making fun of Meatloaf. I'm just making fun of his mannerisms that were, like, 40 years ago. Cocaine may have been a factor. Like, he's really dancing around. It really reminds me of Elaine from Seinfeld when she talks about how she's, like, a really good dancer, and then you watch her dance, and that's what it looks like. Oh, here it goes, the change-up. Oh, they even changed the lighting. We're gonna go all the way tonight, we're gonna go all the way tonight's tonight. We're gonna go all the way tonight, we're gonna go all the way tonight's tonight. We're gonna go all the way tonight, we're gonna go all the way tonight's tonight. I'm curious to see how this turns out. Okay, here we go. We got a real pressure cooker going here. Ah, 
they changed it to a baseball game. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. They keep on going back and forth between the baseball game and him making out with the chick. Way to keep it PG, though, Lo. The way that he's kissing her, it's making his neck disappear. Like, he's got his shoulders up and everything. I am. I'm, I'm handsome. <laughs> it looks like one of those fat kids where they're like, my mom says I am a handsome boy. <laughs> Tommy want wingy. <laughs> This is awesome though, because it goes, it, it flips over to a fucking ba ba uh, baseball game. Actual baseball game, that's funny. Yeah! Oh, she's putting some effort into the acting. Now, keeping in mind, this is a stage performance, and they're actually acting it out. At this point, they're acting it out. This is the calmest I've seen Meatloaf so far. Takes the mic. Let sleep on here. Baby, baby, let me sleep on it. Let me sleep on it. And I'll tell you an answer in the morning. Let me sleep on it. This is. This is epic. Let me sleep on it. I'll give you an answer in the morning. Yes, I'm making fun of it, but it's epic. Oh, God, there's the creepy eyes. Let me sleep on it. Let me sleep on it. See, like, look at that. Like, he gets lower than her as if to just say, look, just, just the tip, please, just the tip. You know, that's because, like, you know, if, if you get tipped, you're getting the whole thing. Just, I'm just saying. They're, ho they're swapping the mics, but... I like the look on his face. Like he's got to contemplate this shit. Is it worth getting this nookie? Is it worth getting this nookie? The only way to get this is if to say yes. But I don't. That's the, like, that's the, that, that is kind of the contradiction right there. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Come on. Come on, Mr. Loaf. Is it worth it? He's biting his nails. I like that they're acting this out. Yes or no. Damn, he almost smacked her with that microphone cord <laughs> with that microphone stand. See, I like I like this even in the song. I give you an answer in the morning, the morning. <laughs> Their first fight, awesome. I would swear to my God and my mother's grave that I would love you to the end of time. I swore I would love you to the end of time. So now I'm praying for the end of time. That's awesome. Eddie! This this definitely sounds like a lot of relationships in the 70s and 80s. <laughs> like even in the 50s, 60s, even in the 50s and the 60s where it's just like 
They love their they love their significant other, but they just can't wait for them to die. You know that that old joke. And I like this part right here. They're like that. Oh my God. Like listening to this for the first time was just a complete mind blow. The way that they're doing that, where it's like two completely different lines of dialogue and they're off center, but in sync at the same time and it's like you don't know mentally how you're gonna fucking take this <laughs> yeah, just hit her in the head with it and end your misery <laughs> no don't do that okay <clears throat> never felt so right never going like the middle on the edge of a night See, I, I loved the, like, I loved this song mostly because, like, okay, she's got different dialogue than Meatloaf, and it's like, oh, for one, it's a whole story. That's what I love about this song is that it's a whole story about this couple's first sexual encounter, and then the promise that he makes, he admits that he'll never break his promise to her. That is, like... You know, like, and it's like, no matter how much you grow to hate this person, it was like, <clears throat> monogamy goals at its finest, I guess. But seeing it as a music video is like, yeah, there's a lot of funny moments, especially when you look at it now. You know, you look at it now and it's just goofy as fuck. But then towards the, towards the middle of the music video, you really do start to actually see Meatloaf's acting chops. This is the reason why his name was Robert Paulson in the future. Like, by the, you know, late 90s, his name became Robert Paulson. His name's not really Robert Paulson. To be perfectly honest, I don't even know what Meatloaf's real name is. Like, and don't correct me because I don't care. You know, <laughs> like, I don't care what Mr. Loaf's real fucking name is. It is Meat Loaf, okay? Sir Meat Loaf. Rest in peace, Meat Loaf, and thank you for this uh, vintage footage. I was entertained in so many different ways. Like, <clears throat> whether it be just laughing at the old, you know, at the way that your mannerisms were back in the day to seeing the growth of your acting chops over the years uh your music talent and music ability your writing ability all that other shit i love meatloaf and the day after i found out that meatloaf passed away i listened to bat out of hell all the way through um <clears throat> there's a lot of you know like for for as few songs that there are on bat out of hell uh there's a lot of bangers on there uh, if you are a fan of rock and roll, this is definitely an album that you want to have in your collection it is bad out of hell, bad out of hell Two really was kind of meh to me. Cause like the only songs that are on there that I think that are listenable are two out of three, ain't bad. If I'm not mistaken, that might be on bad out of hell one, but I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. Eh, I, and it's like that song to me just didn't make bad out of hell too all that worth it but the first bad out of hell is dope like but like bad out of hell too came out like meatloaf ended up having an issue with his throat uh, something happened i think he got into a car crash if i'm not mistaken i might be mistaken but i don't know but something happened to where his vocal cords got screwed up and um <clears throat> he wasn't able to sing as good as he did in the first bad out of hell but he he did his best uh at least this is what I heard. So, yeah. All right. Well, there's enough of that. So I'm getting up out of here. So thank you, everybody that was watching this. Uh, if you liked this video, I will put a link in the description for the whole thing. So you don't have to worry about my stop and go and uh, <clears throat> my snide remarks. 
uh, overlaying the fucking music video. And if you liked this video of me reacting to this, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Uh, with that being said, his name was Robert Paulson, and I am crazy. That was my reaction. I'm out.